How do and welcome back. My name is Andrew Hancock and I'm a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with the VMware products uh, since their inception in 1998. So that's 23 years I've been working with the VMware product line. Some of you may say if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a sticker rock from Blackpool. I've also written over 100 articles for Experts Exchange and won many other awards and accolades. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program for the last 11 years and more recently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last two. Welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour and we're following on really from the last video we did which was about how to install VMware tools for Linux, um, the version which is actually basically distributed by VMware themselves uh, which you can find in the Linux.iso or if you actually basically uh, click the button that says install my VMware tools uh, from the, the GUI, from the, from the HTML client. But now we're actually going to look at how to install open VM tools for Linux on a VMware Linux virtual machine. Now this used to be required, um, possibly on some versions of uh, distros and Linux you may have to do this separately. Um, but certainly what we actually discovered when we looked at installing Ubuntu server and Ubuntu desktop in the last couple of videos that I did, um, it was clearly apparent that uh, this video and this article really in 2021 are superfluous unless for some reason you've uninstalled it. So, you know, what is what are open virtual machine tools? Well, you know, they're basically, they're a package really that is now developed by the open source community or open source development by the online community for uh, Linux distributions. VMware now recommends the use of open VM tools for Linux uh, over its own uh, version. And all this is described in an article that I've actually basically written at Experts Exchange. And I'm really just doing these videos so that there is some consistency um, amongst the articles that I've already written. Um, so there's an article and there's a video um, so that you can either watch the video and you can watch me and you can listen to me drooling on and saying basically. Um, or you can actually basically follow the guidelines in the article that I've already written or watch the video and read the article at the same time. Um, probably the best way. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to put this link uh, if you want to follow some written guidelines with um, lovely screenshots in a tutorial style, step by step. Um, so again, you know, we're going to connect back to our hypervisor using our browser. We covered this long ago in part two. Um, some of you, the astute amongst you, may have actually observed that we've now got a third Linux virtual machines. Because what I actually wanted to do is I wanted you to uh, compare and contrast the different versions of VMware tools. Um, some people on Experts Exchange have posted questions and said, how do I know which version of VMware tools I've got in my virtual machine? I'll show you shortly. So you can clearly see here that VMware Tools is not installed currently. If I just expand out, uh, that's obviously a bit of legacy because that is wrong. But just let me click refresh. Uh, that is, that's definitely wrong. Um, there's obviously basically a, a bit of a, a buggy here in the inventory um, because VMware Tools is not installed. It's not running, so therefore it can't be VMware Tools 10.3.23 build. Um, that's what you would actually see, in fact, if you were running VMware Tools as distributed by VMware, um, if you'd actually installed it through the ESXi host uh, rather than actually basically in open VM Tools. But I'll show you how very quickly we can basically install open VM tools. Uh, again, I'm going to basically create a bash shell as sudo, as a supervisor. Uh, I'm basically then going to do apt get install open VM tools. Now, this does actually basically, um, you don't have to have internet access because this is actually going to pull down open dash vm tools uh, direct from the repository on the internet um, so there you go very very quick 
You may have actually basically noticed there that the screen actually basically adjusted itself uh, because that was basically installing the drivers. Uh, but if we basically go to uh, our settings, um, we can adjust our screen display. So let's do. Yeah, I want to keep those settings. So there we go. Um, so if the magic has happened, uh, and I just big X out there, right? Okay, this is really what I actually wanted to show you. So can you actually basically see the difference here now that it says open dash VM tools 11.2.5? Yes and yes. And if we just shrink that back, it says VMware tools is not managed by vSphere, meaning that vSphere is not going to update VMware tools because you are using open VM tools. And if I just go back to the virtual machine that we installed VMware tools on in the last video that I did and you can see here quite clearly the install version yes VMware tools 10.3.23 so you can clearly see that there is a difference in the builds between the two Two servers so open VMware tools in this particular case 11.2.5 is a much later build than the tools that's currently being distributed in ESXi 7.0.2a so I think there's a good enough reason there to suggest if you're going to use any ver any VMware tools on any Linux distributions download open vm tools anyway um a quick one today certainly less than 30 minutes uh which is probably a good job because the temperature in this office has still not dropped under 30 degrees c um it's warm um so cheers me dears and uh, i look forward to you coming back soon um when in the next couple of videos uh we're going to be looking at uh, backups, uh, backup your virtual machines, uh, restore your virtual machines. And I'm going to be looking at that controversial piece of software called VMware Converter, uh, to which I know uh, receives more questions than any other question other than snapshots. But I'm going to hold the snapshot one uh, back in my pocket for another long video. But certainly look out for the next videos I'm going to do on backup and restore for free. Um, what I'd really like to call poor man's backup. Uh, and then we're going to do another one on uh, VMware Converter. Uh, we're going to do some P to Vs. We're going to do some V to Vs, a physical to virtual and virtual to virtual conversions uh, using what is called, um, well, VMware Converter is what we actually basically shorten it to. But I think it's real tight. It's something like VMware vSphere standalone converter, uh, which is a complete mouthful. Uh, but basically it's the free tool that allows us to do physical to virtual conversions uh, or virtual to virtual conversions and it's a free piece of software that does allow us to get out of some real sticky situations so again once again thanks so much for watching it's been a real pleasure uh, keep safe out there and uh, come back soon thank you very much